<laughs> Did he say that 800 people are working on the uh, iPhone camera? Yep. 800. 800 people? 800? That's hardware and software. And a lot of that it, happened. Yeah. Like they, they talked... My understanding, too, is that they undersold a lot of the performance. Like they, when they gave numbers about how fast this stuff is, they were incredibly conservative. And the amount of power they get out of that A9 to do calculations for that camera. Because remember, it's, it's the, like the, there's a whole team just making the physical camera package. And then a whole team making the software, a whole team doing the chipset, the image signal yeah. processor as well. Pretty so impressive. It, 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 almost, it almost seems like the more you know about the engineering behind the, any modern iPhone, the more you wonder if the iPhone team designs a camera and then they put phone stuff inside it too because when you talk about how fast can it move data from one section of the of the device to another when you talk about how fast can it process how many threads can it do at the same time it seems as though every single one of those choices was at least informed by the needs of the camera and when you also look at how it's taking pictures where it's not just expose the sensor and then close the exposure of the sensor then write a jpeg where it's actually always trying to figure out what the best solution is going to be and then some t before you even touch the the shutter button and then deciding that the best solution is for for the camera to actually take four uh, three or four pictures and then fuse them together without even being asked not 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 talking about hdr i'm talking about we'll do one exposure for light we'll do one exposure mm. for clarity and then we'll meld those two together uh it's just I mean, it's it's always it's always always bears remembering that the most popular camera on the planet, a popular digital camera on the planet right now, is the is an iPhone. Uh, well, if you look at it, if you it, look at the Flickr, uh, I think the top eight of the top ten cameras used in Flickr are a Canon and Apple. Yeah, I think that yeah. Apple is the, the iPhone top is by four. far the number yeah. one. Uh, yeah, camera. and I mean, and, and and it shows. I mean, I'm I'm taking great pictures with my Nexus 5X. I'm not regretting that at all. I'm, I'm taking just beautiful pictures with it. But every time I take a shot with it, I can always appreciate the difference between a shutter that is just boom, one fraction of a second, capture, 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 uh, and uh, human interface uh, concerns that uh, it has some mistakes, I think, in it. But uh, it's just so much uh, slicker. Uh, this is, I mean, a camera like a a decent one like this is okay for I'm in a museum and I want to take a beautifully composed picture of this. It is not really as good as the iPhone when it comes to something is happening. I want to get a picture of it before my son or daughter, daughter stops being adorable and starts reflecting their own true natures again. Apparently, if you get the 60 Minutes app, you can watch not only the uh, original piece, but you can watch uh, additional material. Well, you know, I'm it's looking on their at website, the, too. The, the yeah. app's been kind of infuriating. The, watching their app on the is, website on a Mac has been the best way for Oh, me. my gosh. Their app is so broken. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to watch ironic. this last night, and I was just like... It's so ironic. Really? The channel, look at this. The, the, look at this channel channel they had three cool. cameras, at least, on this shoot. There's a On the right, there's one on sticks. There's a handheld. Can you identify those cameras, Alex? And then there's there's one we're shooting from. So there's at least, I mean... That's... And they're just firing different colored lights to do exposure tests over and over. Yeah. Yeah. Canons. I think they're using Canon C300s. Interesting. Um, it's, I, can't, I can't say for sure, but... We can we get a shot of the guy in the background. They didn't make any effort to hide the cameras, which no. I found interesting. This is the, the probably very tight space. Yeah, so you can see the guy back in there. But the... the remember, um, remember how it blew the lines? Looked oh, like I'm a sorry, C300. Yeah, what's that? That's a big ass camera. Hold on that angle. Hold on. And there's Graham Townsend doing the explanation. Yeah, awesome. Graham Townsend is the. Uh, is oh the no. Guy. It's like just a regular. Just a regular yeah, old. I think so. Hold on. It's not Beta Cam SP. I can tell you that right now. Anyway, yeah, uh, pretty impressive, and it just you know Apple, uh, which is interesting, knew before anybody that the camera on the phone was going to be a key differentiator, and uh, and um, I mean you don't build that team overnight. And it's yeah. really paid off for them.